Oh, 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 oh. Will you please, please, please stop coming here to annoy me? I don't like you. I won't listen to you. I don't want a friend like you. Even if I wasn't strange and odd and in a cave, I wouldn't like you or know you or be your friend. Even if I wasn't me, I still wouldn't like you. If you were Socrates and I was Plato, I'd give you the hemlock myself. Go away. Oh, and by the way, you smell awfully. I really don't want company. This cave isn't for the likes of you. You'll not be happy here. I see you, man. You're just a man. I am an immortal spirit. I am. I am. I am. And that's a fact. I am the spirit of living in a cave and laughing at idiots like you. I'm above humanity. Miles above it. I prove that by living in a cave. I'm above your feeble morality. I don't like you. I don't need you. I don't. I'm not lonely. I've never been lonely. I've got my thoughts and my memories. They're special. 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 Special! You'll not get them. You won't. Leave me alone. Just go away. Did somebody lose an idiot? I won't tell you again. Get out. Sometimes, I wish I'd been killed in that avalanche back in 78. You know the one? You got them boys stuck up in the pass? Twelve men got stuck. Two walked out. They had to eat each other. Well, they eaten the rest and then held on to each other for warmth. See, that's when you know what a man is. When you're clinging to him for warmth, while eating his brother's kidneys. None of you ever been through that. And you trust me, we ever get stuck, I will eat you before I'll hold you. <laughs>